Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today's a pretty special episode. I'm going to show you the three trades I took on uh, NFP Friday. Um, all three landed three for three. Um, the gold trades were kind of boring. The US 30 one was a lot more exciting and truly gets into the liquidity and inducement side of things and basically our liquidity based system. Now, before we get going, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, you guys have asked me to put out a full course on this style of trading. I decided to finally do that. Um, it's super simple. I've pretty much deleted 90% of the stuff I used to use to trade, and I've really simplified it. So if this style of trading interests you, um, you can see the course link in the description if it is something you want to learn. But yeah, let's dive in and let's talk about NFP Friday's trades. Um... We can bar replay, it doesn't really matter. Again, the gold trades weren't that exciting. They were pretty uh, pretty standard. So back to our ranges, bullish, and we're bullish. So two ranges are bullish. Um, within what I taught you guys, we know that buys are higher probability. Within our market rhythm, we know that now price is kind of trending and we're not even pulling back to the 50 so the expectation is to pretty much for price to not even pull back to the 50 i would say this would even be kind of my last reaction here since this kind of reacted properly so now you can kind of see this last reaction came from our 382 and this entry is super simple I can pretty much enter anywhere from the 382 and below. So I took this entry on the 50, I believe I want to say. And if I remember right, the coverage was a bit big on this one. So nothing fancy. This is just a pro order flow trade. Um, I was hoping it would go a lot further than it did as I don't like to hold these over NFP. So this one was only like a one and a half or two hour or something. It wasn't that big. So we ended up closing it before NFP released. So this trade here, let's delete all these. And so this trade here, we closed out about 15 minutes before NFP release. And... I don't even know the exact spot. We'll just say we closed there or something. So this wasn't really much of a money maker. Um, we wait for NFP to release. Now we swept a daily low. And hypothetically speaking, I just need a continuation. I ended up putting a limit here on just the five minute continuation. We have our vectors up. I kind of just picked 50% of them. And I want to say we targeted just above here somewhere. I think it was like 2390 or something. So this one was a little better. Um, the US 30 trade I'm going to show you guys was a lot more intricate and a lot cooler. These were kind of just pro order flow. No lows are breaking, so just follow it. So that was our tap in. Uh, again, this is nothing fantastic. Took a bit to get there, but you can see no lows are breaking, so you could have pretty much stacked this one anywhere. All right, so we'll go to US 30. I think she took a really nice buy on it today. Um, I ended up buying here and here. Um, I did not hold to here. I got out here, but still good trades all right so us 30 on nfp friday was here so this is more of a liquidity inducement style trade and i have two areas of interest that interest me so i have this imbalance here with liquidity and then i have a previous day low that gets run here so that's an area of interest and we tap into imbalance so liquidity into imbalance is the highest probability setup um, our liquidity cycle completes 
Um, this is our first sweep, so these themselves are often inducing people into early buys. So I'd say 50% of the time these get swept, so I wait for these to go. Um, if you don't, you will likely get wiped. So you can kind of see they built this channel here. They've taken out this liquidity. They've even taken this high out, so people are already buying. They've induced both sides of the market into buys and sells. Um, I've kind of seen this pattern a few times, so I give this the second sweep. And ultimately, you have a new point of inducement here, which is this high. As soon as this high goes, as long as there's imbalance, I can look for an entry. So this one, um, the riskier entry would be here. The problem with these is you might be finding bottom. I don't highly recommend these. And hypothetically, um, we know price has a good probability of coming back here. We'll just delete this guy. So this is kind of the entry that I'm looking for, which also lines up with 15 minute. So I just need price to come back. So this one was the trade on Friday, and I just need something to show me we're buying. Get one bullish candle. There's no imbalance left here, so I don't actually need to cover a lot. Um, so you can go right to the bottom, stretch it a bit. And you can go to the daily high. So you swept the daily liquidity, chances are it'll sweep another daily on the other side of the market. That's just how the liquidity cycle works. So this one in particular did take a little bit to hit. I held it over the weekend. It did eventually land, but uh, Monday didn't even give me an entry. Price just kind of ran. So this was the trade. Again, very uh, systematic. We trade away from our liquidity sweep. And we want to be going in the direction of our ranges. So if we look at our ranges here, um, if you guys are confused with ranges, check out the internal ranges video versus externals that I made. So you can see we're confirmed bullish on the internals here. Then you make one bearish and then you come out and you make one bullish so which still keeps us confirmed bullish so hypothetically i'm only looking for buys so if the ranges are bullish we want a liquidity cycle into a liquidity point and imbalance and then ultimately we want to take out the inducement we want to have a level of imbalance to tap into this is a great a setup um, this is as good as it gets. It's a confirmation entry. You have a liquidity cycle here. You're tapping into uh, liquidity. You're tapping into imbalance. You're reconfirming on the imbalance. You're uh, trading away from a daily liquidity while going in the direction of the ranges so you can target the daily. This is like an absolute grade A setup. It doesn't really get any better than that. So that was, to the, uh, that was Monday's setup. Since we're on US 30, I'll actually show you guys today's trades too. So today's trades are actually the exact same thing repeated, quite literally. Um, so this was the trade I just showed you guys. Today's is the exact same. There's your liquidity. There's your inducement. Um, there's your liquidity sweep. There is your imbalance into liquidity sweep we don't want to find bottom so the only thing we want to see is that we have imbalance on this break if we look we have imbalance here so now all i need to do is find where price reacted so price reacted between the 618 and the 786 so this gives me the market rhythm so this is essentially the same trade I took here, uh, like the exact same trade in the exact same direction. And all I need to find is the first reaction. So if this is my first reaction here, um, none of these are reactions because there's no break. So this is my first reaction here. So now if price is to continue and the market rhythm is to continue, I need a reaction between the 
618 and the 786. So the same entry we took here. And ultimately, as soon as price starts going in my direction, I can enter. So I took one here, covered the low. Um, so we ended up exiting around here somewhere. So that was the first one. The second one, I ended up stacking another one here as we went through the high. With this one here, I covered quite a bit more. Um, this isn't really the money maker, it's just a stack. So this is one trade to me, it's one trade idea. So overall you bank pretty good on this, but if you actually look at it, what it is, is you have a one hour liquidity cycle, and then here you actually have a one minute liquidity cycle. Take out your inducement, there's your one minute imbalance. Um, I don't use one minute, I just stay on the five and the 15. But if you look at the one minute, it is quite literally the same thing. So this one pattern is pretty much what 90% of my trades are with a little more context, obviously. So there's your liquidity, there's your liquidity. So when you build on both sides, whichever side sweeps first, I want to target the other side, which also lines up with our higher time frame bias. There's your imbalance. So if you were trading a one minute, this would be your entry. Um, it could get pretty messy though. I stay on the 5 and the 15 personally. But yeah, if you guys are interested in this style of trading, the Precision Elite 2024 course is done and it is linked in the description. Definitely check it out if it's something you're interested in. Um, it's a lot different approach than your typical SMC or Sport and Resistance. And for a lot of guys, um, you'll be able to trade this stuff no problem instead of wondering which way the market's going like we made pretty good money in this we made good money in all of this and we've been able to trade all of this so that's where this system shines where sport resistance supply and demand i find works best when it's trending whereas this will work when it's going sideways or trending so in a nutshell it is a much better system but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one